Well, welcome back to Great Day Washington. You can catch a former beauty queen at the Wedding Experience Wedding Show this Sunday and maybe even let her plan your ceremony. But today she's in the Great Day studio. Not just any former beauty queen, Miss Virginia 2009, Miss America 2010, Carissa Cameron Jackson joins us now with what she's been up to. We were just in the break talking pageants. I've been talking pageants with her all morning. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a Miss America here. I love it. Well, congratulations. I know you've, this is a, a new chapter in your life. Um, how did you get into the uh, event planning, wedding planning? So I've been a planner all my life. Um, in college, I planned student affairs events, galas, fundraisers, that sort of thing. And then when I took it to my corporate career, um, I did a lot of their fundraisers. I did a lot of their end of the year galas, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. But the marriage between all things beauty queen and all things wedding um, was really easy. I was like, I love princesses and I love crowns <laughs> and I love sparkly things. And that's a wedding. And so, um, I kind of just took all of the expertise that I had, you know, from my career and from college and then mm -hmm. just brought that into wedding planning. And it's been a phenomenal year. Um, it, things have really picked up in the last year or so, but I've been doing this for about five years now. Um, so it's been so fun. I've had really great brides. I have some awesome 2018 and 2019 brides already on the book. So that is great. awesome. <laughs> when I think about a former Miss America planning a wedding, I'm thinking you are a bride's dream because you've been on stage. Yes. You know what colors mm -hmm. to wear, yes. how to do your hair, mm -hmm. what to say, how to walk. Does all of that uh, pageant and stage experience come into play when you're getting the bride ready for her big Absolutely. Day. I think it gives me a really unique perspective with brides um, and a way to help them connect because not only have I been on the side of the pressure of competing, I've been on the side of being a pressure of being a bride as well. Um, so I kind of marry the two together um, and it's definitely helpful to be able to guide them in the direct direction of this is the gown that works best for your body type or this is how you deal with different kinds of personalities because mm -hmm. after dealing with competitors and stage moms and families, <laughs> um, I don't think I haven't seen a type of personality that's out there. So <laughs> Fifty women them. in the yeah, District exactly, of Columbia exactly. all want the and same Puerto job. Rico and Virgin Islands. There's oh, 53 of us. Oh my gosh, 53. So, you know, I definitely think it creates a unique perspective and I have a great eye. I was mm -hmm. able to attend so many different events at embassies and galas as Miss America. And so I can give them a different kind of perspective of what to bring to their party that's unique. Um, definitely lots of different cultural competences as well. And I think that definitely plays a great role. Look at you, you were so stunning. Gosh, I remember she that. She was so too. skinny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good old days. The good old days, right? right? Old days. Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank but you. you, I mean, there's a big philanthropic arm to the Miss America organization yes. and what you believe in, and you and your husband. Um, are continuing that, and I love what you guys are doing with uh, basketball. Me, there he is, <laughs> yeah. your husband, and you have a an 18-month-old baby. Yes, yes. But mm -hmm. you all have been continuing this philanthropic side, um, but taking it to there basketball. There he is. What a cutie! <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! So my husband runs the Fredericksburg Area Basketball Organization, and what we do with that um, is we put on lots of different AAU tournaments. We do skills-based events, and then we have an All-Star Game that happens every April, where we invite the top seniors in the area to come and play and they have the opportunity to one last time not only play for their hometown fans but we bring college coaches in that n may not have necessarily gone to see them play and we have had seniors get signed on the spot to go to college and so it's really important for us to continue to give back because both of us went to school debt free um, and so we try to pass on that same kind of knowledge whenever we can. And yeah, I understand that when people come out and meet you, you are so sweet and so warm. <laughs> when they come out on Sunday to the wedding experience, yeah. what do you hope to impart uh, upon on all of the, the brides who are kind of aimlessly wandering down the aisle. Yeah. It's like, I don't even know where to begin. So it can be a bit overwhelming. Yeah. And so one of the things that Mark McIntosh, who is the producer of that show, allows me to do is to come on stage right before uh, the fashion show. That's the big breather, right? Um, and I kind of tell the girls, here's what you do with all of those cards that are in your bag, because it can be a little overwhelming, mm -hmm. but letting them know where to start and how to start. And that typically comes from finding out what your personal bride style is. So we talk a little bit about that. And then I do an awesome queen for a day giveaway. And so it's an opportunity for them to meet with me we find out what their bridal style is and then I help give them a package that would make their wedding be the royal experience that they deserve. So, you know, Meghan and Prince Harry aren't the only two this year who yeah. deserve a royal <laughs> wedding. Um, so I'm trying to find a way to ensure that all my brides can but there's one lucky winner at each one of the wedding experience shows that gets to walk away with a Queen for a Day package. I love that. We're going to give you more information in just a minute, but I have to ask, yeah. can you sing a couple lines for us? This girl has an amazing voice. <laughs> yes, I'll talent, sing a little bit right? of my Miss America talent. There you yes. go. Okay. Listen, 
to the song here in my heart a melody i'd start but can't complete wow yeah okay i don't know how much you want i mean like she said We're getting chills in the Great Day studio, but remember, you can meet Caressa this Sunday at the Wedding Experience Show. That's January 21st at Eagle Bank Arena. Also, as a reminder, go vote for your favorite couple so they can win a wedding in the week. Just go to our Great Day Washington Facebook page. Make sure you like our page. Click on the Wedding in a Week graphic to vote. That's right. Vote now, and anyone who sends in their vote will receive two.